We are live. Hi. Hello. We're back. We're back with You've Got Questions. We've Got Answers. And we should change that to You've Got Questions. Brooke's Got Answers. <laughs> we're in it together. We're, we're here. We're here. Uh, we are glad to be back. We have some fun questions to answer today. So if you have questions and you're joining us, put them in the chat. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We would love to answer anything mm -hmm. um, out there. We'll do our best. Yeah. We'll do our best. Um, so let's, while we're waiting for questions to come in for a minute, Brooke, let's talk a little bit about scholarships. I love it. So we've got, well, let's say, so classes yeah. start in September. Yes. Okay, so the week of September 11th is the first week of classes, mm -hmm. um, and you have a little bit of time to do your scholarship up until then, through yes. then, right? Yeah. So Okay, so let's talk scholarships. Yes. Yeah. So one of the best, and it's available for all students, whether mm -hmm. you're in Pathway Connect or an online certificate and degree student with BYU-Idaho and Enzyme College is the Heber J. Grant tuition discount. It's fantastic. It's the best. Fantastic. And it's truly a tuition discount. So sometimes internationally you hear the word scholarship and you go, well, like, do I, there's this connotation that I might have to pay it back. Yeah. What do I need to do in order to receive it? And so with the uh, Heber J. Grant tuition discount, it's available for all students after you enroll, but before you pay your tuition, we recommend you do it. Mm -hmm. So in your student portal, you'll see something that says claim your tuition discount, um, tuition discount now available. And so what you're going to do is learn a little bit about the life of President Heber J. Grant, who the scholarship is named after. Mm -hmm. um, he was the president of the church during the Great Depression. Um, and so he knows what it's like to have um, some economic struggles um, and some financial worries. So you'll learn a little bit about his life. You'll answer some questions about your life. And then this needs-based tuition discount will give you either 10, 25, or 50% off. Um, so everyone who completes the, the Heber J. Grant tuition discount module will receive a tuition discount, which is really incredible. It's amazing. Yeah. It's totally amazing. And it stays with you when you transition from Pathway Connect onto online certificate and degrees with BYU-Idaho and Enzyme College. Um, it's such a great opportunity um, to help our students. And then there's another scholarship. Missionary. You want to talk about it or you want me to talk about it? Uh, well, let me try. Okay. Okay. The missionary um, scholarship is for young missionaries or service missionaries mm -hmm. who have served in the last, this is for like 60 months from when you got home, five years. So if that is you, you can come to BYU Pathway and you get a 25% mm -hmm. tuition discount that is in addition to the Heber J. Grant tuition yeah. discount. so you can stack them. Mm -hmm. So if you've come back in the last five years, 60 months, you're gonna be eligible mm -hmm. for at least 35% off of your tuition. Uh, and the return missionary scholarship automatically applies. So when you log in um, to your church account um, with BYU Pathway Worldwide, we know that you've recently returned home from a mission. So that mm -hmm. tuition discount's gonna just come off right away. I like that. That's good. Okay, so if you're just joining us, um, if you have questions about BYU Pathway, if you have questions about um, online certificates, on certificates degrees. and degrees, scholarships, anything like that, ask us those questions. We'll try to answer those. Um, and we'll be here for about... 45 minutes yeah. so um right till about 11. so okay so here's a question i'm not sure it says why don't you also have a three track for byu pathway so i i'm not entirely sure i understand the question but yeah. I, what i think you're asking is are there there are three tracks can you go to school for all three tracks so for those of you who aren't aware byu idaho and enzyme college do what's called a track system and you can do uh, online certificate and degrees during w fall, winter, or spring. Um, and that is the same for, and that those seasons are here in the United States, fall, winter, or spring. So you can do all of those things. Um, you can take classes all three terms. Um, and BYU Pathway allows for um, students to serve during all three terms. Yeah. So it is possible to do BYU Pathway um, in those three terms. So we That's model our, our academic calendar follows Enzyme College and BYU Idaho. So what's the last day? If they're finishing up um, Pathway Connect right now, yeah. what's the last day to apply for like BYU Idaho? Love it. So uh, if you are finishing Pathway Connect, so you're a Pathway Connect 103 student, you have until uh, August to start your application um, and to enroll in BYU Idaho online. So our recommendation is to get that application started today. So if you are a Pathway Connect 103 student, um, go ahead and get that going. And 
um, you're going to be able to have these opportunities to uh, enroll and to start an online certificate and degree program. The other thing that's really great about uh, BYU-Idaho and Enzyme College is there are opportunities for you to take with you those experiences. Your peer mentor comes with you onto online certificates and degrees. You also are going to be able to take advantage of that tuition discount. Mm -hmm. um, but part of the reason why we recommend you getting started sooner is because of the ecclesiastical endorsement. So that takes a few minutes um, to get done. So when you're in Pathway Connect, you don't have to have an ecclesiastical endorsement. If you're like, what on earth is that? <laughs> it yeah. is um, basically an honor code. You're saying, I am going to behave in this way. I'm willing to sort of follow the rules, if you will. Um, and so as you're going through those things, um, part of what's really great about it is you know what you're signing up for, you know what that what's going on, and you're able to meet with your bishop and stake president or your um, rabbi, priest. Um, if you're not a member of the church, you can do that. And you basically say, yep, I'm willing to live these rules. And what's really cool is you're then admitted. So you've got a 3.0 or higher in Pathway Connect and you can move on. Um, if you don't, if you're in Pathway Connect and you're concerned that you're not gonna have a 3.0 or higher um, and be eligible to move on to BYU-Idaho or Enzyme College Online, you can actually retake a term. So let's say you get an A in 101 and you get an A in 103, mm -hmm. but life happens in 102 and you don't do so hot. You can actually go back and just retake Pathway Connect 102 um, and you'll be able to um, transition. So you don't have to start over. So say you're finishing Pathway Connect and you have a one, you have a 2.8 and you're like, gosh, I missed it. I didn't get the 3.0. <laughs> you can actually go on um, and just retake that one session, which is pretty incredible. Um, and your GPA averages out. So it's not like, oh my gosh, I have to get a B in 101, 102, 103. You could get an A in one session, a C in another session, a B in that one, and your GPA is going to average out for you to be able to do that. Which is a like, great clarification yeah. for people. Okay, so we always get questions about studying um, on campus mm -hmm. um, after doing BYU Pathway. Yeah. So this question is kind of related to that. So can I waive the English proficiency exams to BYU-Idaho campus? You cannot. So you have to continue on. Um, so each campus has its own unique qualifications. Mm -hmm. So if English is not your native language and you're interested after Pathway Connect going to BYU-Idaho or Enzyme College on campus, you'll need to apply to that university. So um, BYU Pathway is really set up to be a means for people to have a church education school experience <laughs> without transitioning um, or moving. And so uh, you will have to take that entrance exam, um, that English proficiency exam um, that's offered through BYU-Idaho, Enzyme College, BYU and Provo. Okay, so um, someone over here wishes they could um, apply, but they might be in a country that do we have a couple of countries. Yeah, we can't we can't be in. So there are a few, um, but that number <clears throat> continues to dwindle. Um, so we have students from 188 countries worldwide. So if you are concerned that you live in a location where BYU Pathway is not yet approved. Um, you can send us a direct message. We've got team members standing by that are happy to answer questions um, and happy to support. So if you're concerned, can I enroll? What's yeah. my process? Just send us a message and we'll let you know. Um, and also as you're going through the application process, uh, it will let you know as well if yeah. you're, you're living in a country where it's not currently available. Is it available in Poland? Yeah. Okay. It's available in Poland. I see this one. This is a question. Um, all right. So let me keep looking here. If you're just joining us, we are doing our You've Got Questions, We've Got Answers series. So just jump on, ask us a question. Um, we will try to answer everything that comes in, anything BYU pathway related. We will do our, we'll best. Do our best. Yeah. We will do our best. Okay, so I want to study, um, I want to study online after finishing Pathway Connect, but I don't know if it's possible to study while working. Yeah, great question. Great question, yes. Yes. Most of our <laughs> students, I would say a majority of our students are also working. Yeah, 
One of the things that's really incredible about Pathway Connect and BYU Idaho and Ensign College Online is it's really designed to meet around what's happening in your daily life. So we have, for example, you know, students that are working full time, they've got families, they have a lot happening. Mm -hmm. um, and because it is all sort of on your own time in your own way, um, you can really make school work for you. So we have some students who get up really early and they wanna do school before anyone else in their house is awake. They wanna do school once the kids are asleep. Yeah. <laughs> um, makes it easier. <laughs> makes it a little easier. So all there's that, that flexibility. So you're still gonna have weekly <clears throat> assignments. You're gonna have mm -hmm. lectures that you participate and watch, um, but you're gonna really be able to find that flexibility. We also have students who say, okay, I, this semester I can only manage one class. Yeah. Um, and so you can sort of scale up and down based on what's happening in your life. Um, we've, you know, one of our friends, Cindy, she, one semester her daughter was getting married and she was like, this is too much. I've got so much going on. Um, and so she took a pause for a semester and came back immediately. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a friend, Charlotte, who's got kids at home during the summer and she said, I still want to be working toward my degree, but I've got so much going on. And so she decided, you know what, I'm just going to take a New Testament religion class. I'm going to mm -hmm. knock those two credits out. Um, and so for her, she felt like, oh, this is just adding to my scripture study, my come follow me experience. Mm -hmm. um, and she's able to do that while having kids at home for the summer. So you're really able to flex up and down um, and take as, as many or as few credits as, as what works for you. Yep. Those are great questions. Keep them coming. We would love to answer as many as we can. Um, so here's a great question, Brooke. Is there a difference between getting a degree um, through BYU Pathway um, and like BYU Provo? Yeah. So we can kind of explain the mm -hmm. difference. So we don't accredit the degrees. BYU Idaho and Ensign College do. Yep. And those are under what's accreditation might be a new word to you, but that is um, the group in the United States here that oversees that you're getting uh, education and they, they have rules it's quality, that, it's factual, yes. it's um, it's up to a university level education, what's being asked of you, what's being required of you. Yeah. So BYU Idaho and Ensign College are accredited by the same group that accredit BYU Provo. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's all part of the church education system. So there's not a difference in terms of accreditation or what's possible. Um, it's really just potentially, you know, what certificates or degrees are available through that university um, and what you might want to do with it afterwards. But there's great opportunities. Okay, so here's another question for you. Um, this, this individual says, say you are doing the software development degree, but you want to take an accounting class <clears throat> to see if I'm a better fit for that degree. Do I need to change my whole degree in business in order to do that? That is a great question. That is a great question. So you're gonna have a certain number of <clears throat> electives that you can take in your degree program. Um, I'm not certain accounting is one of those options, and so my advice would be two things. One, you can talk with your peer mentor um, if you're a current student. So if you're already enrolled in BYU Pathway and you're curious, mm -hmm. you can talk with your peer mentor um, and they will be able to help you navigate and find that out. You can also talk to an advisor to talk through what that looks like, what classes are being offered, what you can take as an elective, what's a requirement. Um, and if you are not a current student, send us a direct message and we will go ask those who work in those departments and get you an answer. So send us a direct message if you're not a current student. Okay, we have a gathering question, Brooke. Love it. So this question is um, in Pathway Connect 101 Life Skills, there's gathering. Are those two different things? Or are they the same things? I love it. Oh, that is a good question. It is. I think Derby should answer because well, she just did Pathway Connect I 101. I did just do it. So when you sign up for Pathway Connect 101, part of your experience is the gathering. So the gathering, you can think of it like your time in class. You're going to discuss. Um, <clears throat> you're going to discuss what you've learned. Um, you're going to support some of those concepts. So if you're doing uh, a really hard section in math, for instance, mm -hmm. in Pathway Connect 101. When you come to your gathering, you guys, you're gonna work through some of those challenging concepts together. It's like meeting with a study group. Mm -hmm. um, that's part of what you're gonna do, and it's a big part of what you do. Another part of that is, and it's, it's just for an hour once a week um, at a set time. You're also going to have some spiritual thoughts. You're gonna talk about the devotional that you would have watched that week. Um, and you essentially just bond as a group. So I like to think of it as kind of a, an amazing study group. 
where you don't have a teacher there, you, uh, everybody takes turns teaching the group, and you reinforce the ideas you're learning, you talk through anything that's challenging. In my gatherings, if anybody had trouble, um, usually somebody would be like, I got it just <laughs> fine, maybe we can meet at another time and, do, uh, and help you understand this concept better. So mm -hmm. as part of your Pathway Connect 101 experience and 102 and 103 the entire time, you s typically stay with the same group mm -hmm. and you meet just once a week and you help teach each other. So it's a really kind of a magical experience and especially because you're studying remotely and online, it's your chance to really connect and bond with other mm -hmm. students who are experiencing the exact same thing that you are yeah. right when you are. And I'll say there's a bond really <clears throat> yeah. that I feel like happens with the, uh, in the gatherings where they'll have their own either Facebook group or WhatsApp group or yeah. um, where they wanna stay connected even beyond. Um, mm -hmm. So we have a, a student employee named Kyla and she's like, I still keep in touch with people from my gathering, you know, three plus years later. And um, it's such an incredible experience for people to connect and build that camaraderie and sense of community while going to school online. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay, I wanna take this question over here. I, this individual says, I failed my third semester for BYU Pathway, so Pathway Connect 103, a long time ago, mm -hmm. and I wanna retake it. Um, do I still join taking Pathway Connect 103 that third mm -hmm. semester, or do I start at the beginning? No. You start, you, you start with that third one. 103. Yeah. So if you ha if you got a passing grade and you're comfortable with the grades you got in 101 and 102, you can just pick right back up at 103, which is awesome. And yeah. I would love for you to do that. And it's amazing. And while we're here real quick, as we take a look at a few more questions, yeah. will you talk about what you talked about at the beginning where um, the cumulative GPA? Yes. So um, here at BYU Pathway, we do what's called a cumulative GPA. So we take an average essentially of what you get in 101, 102, and 103. Um, and so we look at that and say, all right, did you average out to a 3.0 or a B average? Mm -hmm. So maybe you got an A in 101, a C in 102, and a B in 103, you're gonna average out to a 3.0. So you're gonna be eligible to transition to BYU Idaho Renzine College Online. Um, it can feel a little bit daunting or you're like, gosh, I just didn't do very well. What am I going to do? Um, the good news is you can average out your GPA and like this gal, if you maybe didn't do so hot in one of the terms, you can just come back and retake that one term. Mm -hmm. You do not have to start from scratch. Um, we don't want you to do that. If you have questions about doing that, send us a direct message. We're happy to, to walk that through with you. Okay. Kind of the same idea, English Connect yeah. question. Mm -hmm. Is that I took English Connect and I didn't do very great. Um, I'd like to resume my studies in August, so I would like to know where I should start. I love it. That is a good question. Yeah. So if you are interested in doing English Connect again, um, you can just go to englishconnect.org. So englishconnect.org. Um, and you can go to the Join Now tab <clears throat> and you can get started. Um, and retake English Connect. So you can actually take English Connect as many times as you would like. Um, so English Connect one and two are done locally in a ward or stake, so community-based. And then English Connect three is done online. Um, and it's really designed to prepare folks for um, academic English, professional English. Um, and you're paired with, you have a gathering similar to Pathway Connect gatherings. You have service missionaries that are there to cheer you on, to celebrate you, to encourage and love you. Um, and you've got a really great environment to learn English, which is something incredibly hard. Yeah. So, so that's, love it. that's great. And I'm going to put a plug in. We have um, just started launching our English Connect Instagram yes. and Facebook pages. They're being built right now. So if you want to follow along, we're going to be doing a couple of really fun things to help you practice reading um, and listening skills as part of that. So, um, and they're very easy to find. I think it's English Connect Official yep. is what it is. Yeah, I'd love it. Okay. So this is a, well, let's do this question. Yeah. Can I apply to work for BYU Pathway if I'm living in South America? Now, I know that you just had a big webinar mm -hmm. on jobs. Yeah. So maybe we can talk about that a little bit for yeah, a second. Yeah, I love it. So... With um, So being an official full-time or student employee of BYU Pathway, you actually need to live in the United States um, and live specifically in Utah or Idaho in order to work directly for BYU Pathway Worldwide. Now, BYU Pathway has some really amazing 
um, vendors and partners that we work with that support our current students um, that are working in industries sort of across the spectrum. Mm -hmm. um, and so if you are looking for a job, um, we have a couple of hiring partners. One is Bloom. Um, so you can visit hirebloom.com um, and they have a little interest form. Um, and then Rain. So Rain.com, um, they are remote employers and they are geared toward working with BYU Pathway students um, to help them find remote jobs. Oftentimes the companies are based here in the United States, but sometimes they're connecting you to local opportunities um, and really there to help support you. Um, and Pathway Connect 102 is designed to help students work on those professional skills, do an informational interview, which I think is a, a unique concept um, for a lot of folks. Um, so here in the States, we do what's called uh, an informational interview. So you might contact an organization or an individual and say, I just want to learn more about what it's like to work here. Mm -hmm. um, I might want to know what it's like to have that degree or that profession. Um, and that's a fairly common thing to do. And so that is um, one option to work on sort of hiring or professional skills, reaching out to networks on LinkedIn. And then um, we have a career development term team that's here that's really um, designed to help students succeed. And so we've got some fun things that we're working on that we'll be launching before the end of the year. So stay tuned about some things that we're doing to help students learn the skills that they need to, to be successful um, and to get them jobs. That's perfect. And yeah, and I mean, we had a couple other questions about some of those adjacent, uh, that are kind of adjacent that said like, how do we acquire the skills required, mm -hmm. you know, to get hands-on experience? Mm -hmm. um, and there was another one. So again, there's, yeah. there's some more. So part of the curriculum is designed to help you get that experience. Um, and I would say, don't be afraid to build your LinkedIn network um, and to you know appropriately ask for help or opportunity. Um, I would say be careful of not um, over asking or or badgering um, someone by, hey, I need this, I need this. Um, you know, you're really asking them for a favor. So making sure that you're being respectful of someone else's time or their resources, um, but asking them and saying, hey, I'm really interested in working for your company one day. Can you tell me what that's like? Or I really, uh, you know, I'm interested in pursuing a degree in that area of study. What opportunities is that um, providing for you? So. Those are some things. There's also some um, you know, free online classes on LinkedIn that are great resources. There's free webinars that are hosted by a, a number of organizations. And so um, I would say just sort of pay attention to what's happening in the industries that you're interested in. That's a good answer. Good answer. If you're just joining us, if you're just joining us, uh, this is called You've Got Questions, We've Got Answers. Mm -hmm. um, I'm Darby. I'm Brooke. And we are just here to try to answer any questions you might have about BYU Pathway, enrolling. Um, if you're enrolled and you have questions, we get uh, a lot of variety of questions. So keep yeah. them coming. We'll be here until uh, for about 40 minutes, until around 11 o'clock our time. Yeah. Um, so keep them coming. Okay. Do you get a bachelor's degree in BYU Pathway? So. Yes, we, that degree is issued either from BYU-Idaho or Enzyme College, mm -hmm. but you enter in through BYU Pathway and we handle everything about your online experience. Yep. So um, BYU, Idaho, and Enzyme College are the degree granting institutions. We are the service provider. So we um, provide peer mentors, scholarships, um, advisors. We are here to support our online students. And so you can get, an, uh, you can get certificates, associates, or bachelor's degrees through BYU Pathway. Okay, um, here's a question again. We get all we, we always get lots of questions about people interested in coming to campus. Yes. So this question, and this is probably a, an answer we might not have. Yeah. This question says, do you still have to write any exams before coming to BYU Idaho? Mm -hmm. Okay, so two parts. If you're going, uh, if you're studying online, then yeah. no, you don't. You don't have to write exam. You don't have to like do the exams and the essays that would be required. That is all part yep. of your experience. If you were going to go to campus. Um, in person and study in person, that is a different um, application, application experience. Yeah. to apply. So um, for your specific example and question that you asked, so if you are continuing to BYU-Idaho online, you do not need to do anything else. You, As long as you have a 3.0 or higher, um, you'll need to get your ecclesiastical endorsement and you'll be eligible to continue on to BYU-Idaho or Ensign College online. Those are great questions. Okay. Yeah. 
So um, again, about studying in, on campus, yeah. will my credits transfer if I'm coming to Ensign College from, um, from BYU Pathway? Yes. Yep. Yep, so we work directly with BYU-Idaho and Ensign College. So the credits that you earn during Pathway Connect are transferable to mm -hmm. um, BYU-Idaho and Ensign College. So there's nothing that you have to worry about of, oh, is it not gonna work? Are, are they gonna yeah. accept this? Rest easy, they'll, they'll be accepted. They'll accept that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and yes, you can get a bachelor's degree completely online. Yes. We have seven? Yes. Seven degrees. So there's business. I love watching Brooke <laughs> rattle these off, so this is why I asked. <laughs> there is business, communication, health, uh, technology. There's actually two technology degrees. So one is in software development and one is in information technology. Mm -hmm. Then there's family and human studies and professional studies. So all of the certificates sort of um, tie into it. So for example, in communication, you might get a certificate in communication writing, one in social media marketing, mm -hmm. um, one in graphic design possibly. So there's a lot of, there's a few different options that you can choose from when you're going for a, a degree. You can say, okay, I'm going to choose this certificate first, then I'm going to go into this certificate, and then I'm going to choose this third one. Um, and having a certificate first model is really unique to BYU Pathway because part of what, why we do these certificates is we know that so many of our students are already working or looking for employment opportunities. And so we wanna give you those credentials up front so that you're able to get a better job, able to get a new job, a job for the first time, mm -hmm. um, because you have those credentials to get you there. So there's no additional cost, there's no additional time, um, but in the same amount of time, same amount of money for a bachelor's degree, you're going to get three certificates, an associate's degree, and a bachelor's degree. Yep. It's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Pretty good deal. So the question is, if they're studying online, how do they get their physical copy yeah. of their degree? So for Pathway Connect, you don't get a physical copy from us, but you can print it out by going to your student portal. Mm -hmm. However, I believe for the certificates... Yeah. And the degree, that's different. Yes. Right? So the certificates and degrees are mailed to you through BYU, Idaho, or Ensign College. And it can take a minute. Yeah. So depending on where you live, I remember when I graduated from BYU, Idaho, um, it took about a month, um, and I was living in the United States for me to get my diploma. Mm -hmm. um, if you are international, it's going to take a couple of months, likely. Um, but what's great is that there is actually a digital version of your certificates and degrees and diplomas in your student portal. So you're gonna be able to immediately have a virtual copy of your certificates and your degrees, um, but that physical copy is gonna come probably one to three months later. Yeah, and put that on LinkedIn. Yeah. Put that on LinkedIn. Do it. Okay. Make sure you're noting your certificates. You, yeah, you should know all of those different skills you're gaining. Even and relevant coursework can help. Seriously. Yeah. And this kind of leads into the next question. This it. individual says, hey, I've done a lot of applications, mm -hmm. even to Bloom. I haven't heard back. What can I do? Yeah. And so I think this does tie into making sure that you're documenting your relevant experience. Yep. Um, and that your LinkedIn is really up to date. That's one thing you can do. Yeah. There's a couple of other things. So we have sometimes, um, some of our remote employers are looking for um, really strong English accents or um, like sometimes American, Canadian, but really sort of losing some of your native language accent when speaking English. Um, and so one of the things that we've seen some of our students do is actually take English Connect 3 while taking BYU Pathway. Um, because English Connect 3 is going to help with your reading, your writing, your comprehension, but also your pronunciation. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's one great opportunity is to potentially, if an accent is something you need to work on, is to take English Connect 3 for the first time or again. Um, even if you have a great understanding of the English language, you're going to be able to focus in on pronunciation. That's good. Okay, this is, um, this is a good question, Brooke. This yeah. individual says, I'm not a member of the church, totally fine, right. and have, but I have completed the bishop endorsement, um, and I can see that the chaplain endorsement is in progress. So they're talking about their ecclesiastical mm -hmm. endorsement. How do I go about it, please? So we can approach this from like it, it not being completed and being completed, because um, I haven't been able to submit my application. Yes. Luckily, you have time. So this is great to be worrying about this now. Yes. <laughs> so if you can see that it's with the chaplain. So for those of you who aren't aware, if you are not a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, BYU Pathway sponsoring organization, um, you can still absolutely participate in BYU Pathway, BYU Idaho, and Enzyme College online. Um, and you can get your ecclesial 
ecclesiastical endorsement from mm -hmm. a bishop, a stake president, um, or from your rabbi, your priest, your chaplain. Um, and so if you are not a member of the church, you typically will have your first ecclesiastical endorsement meeting with a, a local bishop in your area, and then you'll be interviewed by the chaplains at BYU-Idaho or Enzyme College. And so sometimes that can take a minute. So right now I wouldn't worry because you still have another month and a half, two months before you need to complete that application. Um, but if you're having issues or concerns, you can send us a direct message. We can try to see, um, because the, the endorsements are done at the local level, sometimes we don't have a great answer, um, but we're happy to try to track one down for you. So this is a great question. Okay, we have a half an hour. If you're just jumping on, please throw us your questions in the chat. We will do our very best. Here's another question. If I didn't get to attend most of my gathering through Pathway Connect 101 through 103, what will happen? Yeah. So that, that affects your grade mm -hmm. as you go along. So if you, um, if you were able to attend enough and mm -hmm. got really great grades that you have that 3.0 average, that shouldn't be a factor. Um, if that was a factor in your grade, then you might need to go back and retake one of those courses. Um, it's hard to know without looking at your grade, but it, yep. is, a, it is a component of your grade that yep. you report that you attended that. Do you wanna put, punch the little question mark? This one? No. Or this one? No. Um, can any religion join the university? Yes. Okay. How can I arrange a meeting to learn more about the programs? I love it. So we've got a couple of different ways. You can go to byupathway.org slash APPT, um, and that allows you to book an appointment with an enrollment counselor. Okay. So you can also go to byupathway.org and click on, um, interest, um, or, um, request info and if you click on that request info button you'll fill out a brief survey and then a member of our team will be in touch to answer any questions i'm happy to do that through whatsapp or um over teams zoom a video call yeah so they they said they actually are working in saudi arabia so yeah. is saudi arabia do we have any let me double check there are a few countries around the world that have a few restrictions um just legally for us and so and i'm not sure on that if that is so that might be a little bit complicated so if you give us just a minute i can look up and see um the countries where there might be different restrictions or um, eligible to eligibility requirements okay so brooke's gonna look that up real quick if you're just joining us we're glad you're here this is we're trying to do the we do these about once a week uh, our opportunity for you just to ask questions and we'll do our best to answer those in the moment. It's called you've, we've got, you've got questions, we've got answers. So if you're just joining, we're going to be here for 30 more minutes, um, today, but then we'll be back, um, next week to answer yeah. more questions. Okay. So Saudi Arabia is approved. So you are absolutely welcome to participate in BYU pathway, um, while you're in Saudi Arabia. Fabulous. Okay. Kind of a multi-question here. Um, how do I become a member of the church? I love it. So if you are interested, so while we've already said it's not required to become a member mm -hmm. of the church um, or to be a member of the church in order to participate in BYU Pathway, but if you are interested in joining the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, we would love to help connect you to missionaries for the church where you can learn a little bit more. So if you want to send us a direct message, we can teach you how to do that. Um, you can also go on lds.org, or excuse me, thechurchofjesuschrist.org. Yeah, <laughs> back uh, it, in will, time. it will <laughs> redirect you. <laughs> thechurchofjesuschrist.org, um, and you can request a meeting with missionaries in your area. Um, but if you want to send us a direct message, we're happy to share that link with you um, and get you connected so you can learn more about the church and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay, so another question here. How many years will it take from starting Pathway Connect 101 mm -hmm. to getting your bachelor's degree? Great question. This is a great question. So let's start with Pathway Connect. Mm -hmm. Pathway Connect is either 21 or 20? 28 weeks. 28 so it's weeks. three terms, two weeks. semesters. Yes. So Pathway Connect is a real, it's a standardized sort of process mm -hmm. program. So that's mm -hmm. just going to take you two semesters to complete. But do you want to talk about the bachelor's? You don't need to. Um, no, I'm happy to do. Okay. Well, okay. So in the United States, a typical bachelor's degree takes around four years. Um, one of the really neat things about BYU, Idaho, and Ensign College is, th is that they run three full semesters a year. Yep. And so if you were to take what we call a full load, which is 12 credits or four, three to four classes at a time, um, it would take you about four years. Um, 
If you take less, which most students mm -hmm. do, it just depends. It's about 120 credits. Yep. So you can kind of do the back of the napkin math on that and yeah. how long it would take you. And it also depends on if you're transferring in credits. So if you've gone to school Perfect. previous to coming to BYU-Idaho or Ensign College Online, um, and so you're gonna be able to potentially bring those credits with you. Um, we have a very generous transfer credit policy. Um, we try to make as many credits work as possible. Oftentimes they come over as elective credits, um, but it is still a great opportunity. And so if you're taking one class a semester, it's gonna take you a really long time. Um, but if you, and a long time is relative, right? Like, it, it's re it's, it's like President Nelson anyway. said, the time's gonna pass anyway, so yeah. what's the difference? Um, but it typically we see most people who do BYU Pathway, BYU Idol, and Zen College Online, it takes them between five and seven years to complete. Yeah. So. Okay. So um, this individual says, I finished Pathway Connect 101 through 103 with, awesome. pa with passing grades. Great. Congratulations. But I want to take them again. How Love do I re-register? So you don't need to take them again. But if you want to, yep. I believe you just go back and... As a returning student. Returning student. So you'd go to BYUPathway.org. And then while you're on that website, excuse me, you're going to click Apply for Free. And then you're going to note that you're a returning student. Um, and you would be eligible to come back and to participate excuse me, participate again if you're interested. But like Darby said, if you've got passing grades a 3.0 or higher um, in Pathway Connect, you do not need to retake it in order to move on. Yeah, kind of a, a similar question. Mm -hmm. I wasn't able to complete the second semester, so Pathway Connect 102. Yep. Um, can I just start that over again? Or is it gonna have yes. any negative impact? Yes, so you will need to complete 102. So if you didn't do that, you're just gonna, you'll be able to pick right back up. So you'll take that full seven week term. So depending on when you participated in BYU Pathway the first time, um, each term used to be 14 weeks and it was a three semester program. Now Pathway Connect 101 and 102 are seven weeks each. Um, and then Pathway Connect 103 is um, that full semester. And so you can pick right back up in 102. Um, this fall 102 will start um, end, of, end of October. Um, and so you can go on and register today, and then we'll just place you in the next 102 session. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Someone is wondering where they might buy a BYU Pathway t-shirt. I love it. Okay. So you've got a couple of options. So um, I see that you're here in South Africa. So if you go to our website, byupathway.org slash merchandise, there is a PDF if you want to print one locally um, and participate in that. We are also working with BYU-Idaho. Um, so if you want to go to the BYU Idaho bookstore, you can purchase a number of BYU Pathway items. They have t-shirts, sweatshirts, polos, um, stickers, you name it. Um, so you can go to BYUPathway.org, BYUIdaho.edu and go to their bookstore um, and you can purchase some items online. If you're only purchasing BYU Pathway items, there is a shipping discount, um, but it still can be quite pricey. We are working on options and opportunities to... More information to come. Yeah. Okay, so this individual did fine in 101, did fine in 102. Yeah. Actually did fine in 103, but the introductory course, yeah. they didn't do well enough. Yeah. So what are their options? So the introductory course is actually not part of your GPA to continue on to BYU-Idaho and College. to me. So... Okay. <laughs> you have to have a 3.0 in your Pathway Connect courses in order to move on. So your introductory course, if you didn't do well, or if you if you failed that, you might have to retake it as part of your degree program, but you would be able to continue online as a BYU-Idaho or Ensign College student. So that 3.0 is really your Pathway Connect 101, 102, 103 courses. I did not know that. Yeah. Is this new? I don't know. Or is this clarified? New? Clarified. Clarified. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we are so glad all of you are here. Again, I'm Darby. I'm Brooke. And we're just here to answer your questions. So we have um, just a little less than 30 minutes. We're going to end at 11 o'clock. Are we Mountain Daylight right now? Yes. Whatever time we are in Utah. It's currently 1036. We'll be on for about 25 minutes. Thank you for clarifying that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I'm going to ask you this question just because you have just done a big webinar on jobs. Yes. So this person just, we need jobs as students. Yes. So can you give us like a little hint? 
yes. or what's being worked on. <laughs> yes. We know. We know. And we absolutely want to help you get jobs. So we are working really hard with some different corporate partners um, to try to find opportunities for student employment and student jobs. So we are working on some jobs webinars. Um, so stay tuned for that. And it's really geared towards what are things you can do on your resume, on your LinkedIn profile, on a cover letter, what's gonna help you become more marketable mm -hmm. and able to find some remote jobs um, and opportunities in your home countries. And so stay tuned, we've got some great things working. Um, we're even gonna be piloting a LinkedIn guide um, on some things that you can do to be find, found by remote employers and um, individuals who wanna work specifically with BYU Pathway students. So that's exciting. Yes. When might that guide be available? Like, uh, before Christmas? Yes. Okay. Definitely before the end of the year. Okay. Hopefully sooner. Maybe end of summer? That's the goal, but we'll... Okay. So well, stay we're hoping. tuned. We're hoping. Stay so tuned. More coming. Soonish. Soonish. Okay. Um, kind of a question like we just answered. I finished um, Pathway Connect, but I did not take the introductory course. Would I still need to retake it? That's a great question. I'm honestly, I'm not 100% certain. So if you can send us a direct message with your student ID number, we will find out. So you typically have to take the class, but give me one second. We're just gonna look. look that up and I'm gonna look for our next question. Thank you all for joining. We love having you here. Um, just pop your questions in. You've got us for another 20 minutes and okay. She is looking up a quick question about the introductory course. And I'm gonna pull up another one. I have to reach really far to reach. <laughs> so so I'm a little awkward here. I have to really reach a little bit far to pull up our questions. Okay. So, okay, do we have a idea on that? Okay, so the, the gateway course or your introductory course is not currently counted as part of your um your gpa but i think you need to take one still um so i what i'm looking at hasn't provided total clarity so if you'll send us a direct message we will commit to getting you an answer yeah that's a good question it is okay that's one we should know we should know that one so you guys are helping us learn even more about BYU pathway sometimes we do our best to answer the questions we can but sometimes you stump us. We don't know all of them. Okay, I have a question about my application. Yeah. But I'm having trouble finding who to talk to. So let's talk about, is it enrollment? Yes. Well, I mean, I so, guess it depends if your application is for Pathway Connect or if it's for, for moving on to BYU-Idaho or Ensign College. Yep. So um, if you are a current student, one thing that you can do is reach out to your peer mentor. So if you are looking at transitioning from Pathway Connect to BYU-Idaho or Ensign College, um, your peer mentor can help find out what's going on with your application. Mm -hmm. And if you are um, looking to enroll directly into BYU-Idaho or Ensign College and have a question, um, there should still be an enrollment counselor that's reaching out um, to answer questions, provide feedback, um, but you can also send us a direct message. So if you just go and send direct message, um, and send us your question and information. We'll do our best to answer it or get you the info that you need. Yeah, that's so, great. Thanks for starting an application. Yeah, we love it. Um, okay, transfer credits. Yes. How long is it gonna take for BYU, Idaho, or Ensign College to process this? Yeah. It, I, that <laughs> that so, size should give you a clue. It should give you a clue. It's done <laughs> manually. Yeah. So they look at every credit and they say, where does this fit? Is yeah. this the same type of class? If it's like a math class, is it the same kind of math? Um, in English class, or did you get the same kind of experience? And so it's a little bit slow. So if you are in process and you've already submitted those, just know that they are under review. Um, if you need to do that and you haven't done it yet, please do it right away. Um, Cause it takes a little while. And I think last I heard it was, it was about a month. And um, there is something that the team is working on that's pretty cool. Um, so the transfer credit policy is very generous, like we've said. Um, but there is an opportunity to get like a, a unofficial evaluation, sort of figuring out like, will my credits actually transfer? What does that look like? So um, you can actually go to byupathway.org slash admissions slash transfer credits. Um, and you're gonna be able to do a quick 15 minute sort of unofficial evaluation 
um, to see what credits may or may not transfer. So again, if you go to byupathway.org slash admissions slash transfer hyphen credits, you're going to be able to take a, a look at what is likely to transfer. So again, it's unofficial. So there's a possibility that one or two classes might not actually transfer in, but it's a very generous policy. And part of why, you know, as Darby mentioned, it takes a while because they're looking at each class um, and want to give you as many credits as possible. Will you say that URL again? Because it was very long. So long. Okay. BYUPathway.org slash admissions slash transfer hyphen credits. So it's kind of long. It's kind of long. And our phones are a little far away, so <laughs> it's hard for us to type that. But if you are like, I didn't get that, what it was that, send us a direct message and we'll give you the link. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Um, I took the family relations class during Pathway Connect. Awesome. Can I transfer that credit to BYU Idaho online? Artie's there. Yep. So if you are transitioning from Pathway Connect to BYU Idaho or Enzyme College online student, there's nothing you need to do to transfer those credits. They'll just come with you. Okay. Um, this question is, how much does this cost and can I apply from Brazil? Yeah. I know the Brazil part is a yes. Yes. Cost. Um, so they can find out the tuition cost in their country by going uh, to byupathway.org and then slash tuition. slash tuition. And you can see what it is in your country. Mm -hmm. And Brooke, why is it different in different countries? Great question. So it's different because it's all about what are the economics of that country. So what is an affordable stretch for someone in that country? So it's it's really geared to be as affordable as possible. Um, and that's part of thanks to generous donors why we have the um, Heber J Grant tuition discount. Mm -hmm. We have the return missionary discount. Um, and then it's, it's prorated sort of based on where you live so that it is um, sort of an economical, affordable option wherever you are. Yep. Yep. We want to make it um, accessible to everybody. Yes. Yep. So uh, how long does it take to get a certification? So this is great because you kind of talked mm -hmm. earlier a, lot, a bit about um, as you go through your degree, you're going to get three certificates. Um, so they, I mean, then they could be asking about the Pathway Connect yeah. certificate also. So we can answer both of those. Mm -hmm. The Pathway Connect certificate, 28 weeks. Yep. The next set of classes start the week of September 11th. So if you're thinking about it, go ahead and sign up. You can sign up. All the applications are open. Yeah. Right? Yep. BYUPathway.org and then click on that apply for free button. How about to get, um, how, long, how long does each certificate generally take? takes about a year. That's sort of the general rule of thumb. So depending on which certificate it is, it's four to five classes. Um, and we offer classes over three terms. So you can take one to two classes a semester um, and really get that certificate completed in a year or less. How many credits usually sit inside a certificate? Do you know? I know it, that, it depends. Yes, it depends, but about 15. Okay. Yeah. So that would make sense. Yeah. And you don't get, sometimes you have uh, classes that you need to take one before the next one. Correct, yeah. And that's why you can't do like all 15 at once. Yes. Okay. So, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and those certificates are designed to be like, to give you a skill, a recognizable like yeah. knowledge yeah. of a thing. So, and then, you know, we have certificates and things like administrative assistance and social media marketing, mm -hmm. communication fundamentals, public health, medical billing and coding things that are really designed to give you that skill set and training and move forward. Um, I'm going to tell a quick student story real fast. Do. We have a student from Columbia um, and he is amazing. He finished a, a certificate in administrative assistance in December of last year. Um, he was able to get a position with uh, a U.S.-based company. He's got a remote job. He still lives in Columbia, um, but he no longer has to commute. He no longer has to spend money on the bus and he's making eight times what he was making before um, because he has that accreditation and he, he's got the certificate, he speaks really great English um, and he's he was able to put that into practice almost immediately. That's fantastic. Are there, um, is there a plan for more certificates to be available in the future? Yeah. Um, so let's I, talk a little bit about how, like, how they decide those yeah. a little bit. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of never say never. So. We have an, a great curriculum team that is constantly looking at what is needed in the marketplace, what's gonna be a transferable skill, what's going to be sort of um, desired, if you will. So we reevaluate what certificates we offer um, every year. And so sometimes we've taken some away where either we haven't seen the value, 
uh, our students haven't had as easy of time getting a job in that field or it just doesn't make we haven't had the enrollment that we would need in order to keep going um, and so we reevaluate and say, all right, we're not going to offer that anymore, but we're going to replace it with this or, okay, mm -hmm. this is just being discontinued. So we're constantly reevaluating what makes most sense for our students. Okay. I've got a question for you that I haven't seen before. Okay. Okay. But I mean, you're going to know the answer because you're Hopefully. Broke. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. So this question says, um, there's a student who didn't do well on campus. Yeah. Can they come back through BYU Pathway and work on like those generals and those core again? Yeah. 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 So if you were on a campus and it wasn't a great fit for you, we would love to help you. We have a number of students who have previous college experience on a campus, you know, a year ago, 20 years ago, um, and they come back and start with Pathway Connect because they want to have that solid footing and foundation. Um, it's possible that you could skip Pathway Connect and go directly into BYU Idaho or Ensign College online, um, but we would love to help you. Yeah. It's a great question. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have more jobs questions over here. Yeah. Just wondering about how do you get a how do you get a job in the U.S. if you're in a different country while you're a student? Yeah, so we are working with partners to try to find as many jobs as possible, either locally or remote. So um, BYU Pathway is not designed to sponsor or to provide visas for um, folks in different countries to come to the United States. So if, uh, you know, working with our, our hiring partners, it would be a remote job in your home country. Okay, so um, someone's asking just for more information. So if we've been talking too fast or we've shared um, yeah. a link that you're like, I missed that completely. Two things, one, this, this is being recorded and it will be saved so you could mm -hmm. go back and watch. Two, you can just ask us a question right there under the video or in our direct messages. If you're like, I need a little bit more information mm -hmm. and our team will pick that up yep. and they will work hard to answer that question for you. Um, we're filming from um, a pair of phones and I have to reach <laughs> my full arm out and I can't even reach. And so typing in is a little tricky on here. Yep. But if you do have questions, we would love to answer that. And you can go to BYUPathway.org. Um, that's a really great place to start and just sort of explore um, more about what BYU Pathway offers and how we can help you. Okay, tuition question. Yeah. So I so this question is, um, is the tuition for your bachelor's degree set after completing the 28 weeks in Pathway Connect? Mm -hmm. um, or is it different? Great question. So if you complete Pathway Connect, you're gonna be able to pay that going rate in your country. So I'm gonna give you an example from the United States. So if you complete Pathway Connect, right now tuition is 81 US dollars a credit. Now, once you finish Pathway Connect, that price is gonna stay with you until you graduate, um, until you finish. So you're gonna be able, you're gonna pay that going rate. So whatever the Pathway Connect tuition rate is, that is what you will pay during your online certificate and degree program. If you go directly into BYU, Idaho, or Ensign College Online, it's 139 US dollars a credit. Mm -hmm. So it's a considerable discount to start with Pathway Connect. So we even have some students who have a lot of previous experience um, in online learning, but they still choose to do Pathway Connect so that they can take advantage of that tuition discount. Yep, fantastic question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, kind of two really great questions here I wanna ask. Can I add Pathway Connect to my education section in my resume? Yes. So we would recommend that you couch it as uh, you're a BYU Pathway student and you've completed the Pathway Connect courses. Perfect. Um, this is a more technical question. I'm finding it difficult to log into my student to Canvas using the same credentials I use to apply. Um, okay, so I want you to send us a direct message so that we can send that to our team that have a little bit more technical skill to help out. We, we don't have that no, technical skill, sorry. but we do. Um, you're not the only person who's ever had this problem, and so they're gonna know what to do and work with you on that. So we're super sorry that you can't log in. I know sometimes it's, I, for me, I forget my password. So <laughs> I've had it where I've Don't logged into the wrong one. I'm not saying that's what you did, but sometimes there is a disconnect. And, um, but our team, we have some great students, uh, employees on there who can help you out. Yep. So, 
would love to help. Fantastic. Okay, we've got about 10 more minutes and we're gonna try to race through these as quickly as we can and then we'll be back. When are we yeah. back, Brooke? We're back. We're, I think we're back next week. We're back next week and there's gonna be one in Spanish tomorrow afternoon. Oh, so yes. So if you have friends or family that would benefit from listening and learning more about Pathway Connect in Spanish, that's gonna be tomorrow afternoon. Okay, so a quick question. Somebody earlier was asking about if they weren't able to attend some of the gatherings, and I'll be honest, I had trouble attending some of mine, especially in 103, I got very busy. Um, but the question is, so as long as I got a B grade, even though I couldn't attend some of the gatherings, is that fine? Yes. yes. Yep. Yep, because it's a 3.0 grade point average, um, and so, and you should be able to see that, that average on, in your student portal. Yes. To tell you what your average is. Mm -hmm. So, and we're back next Wednesday. Um, a couple hours later than this. So. Okay, perfect. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. So you can throw more questions at us. But again, yes, like Brooke said, there will be one in Spanish tomorrow afternoon. Um, you can jump on and ask questions and they will be able to type in some questions or answers into the chat as well. Um, this question is, if I'm interested in becoming a member of the church, you can go to churchofjesuschrist.org. Mm -hmm. um, you can also send us a direct message and we can connect you if that's something that you're interested in. Yeah. Um, how many years will it take to complete the whole entire thing. I think we may have answered that question. Yeah, so it's really, if you're if you're just starting out, you've got zero credits, it's really gonna depend on how many credits you take each semester. So Pathway Connect is set up to be um, 28 weeks. Um, that is a standard process. Mm -hmm. But then once you move on to BYU-Idaho or Ensign College Online, it's really gonna be up to you to say, all right, I have the time and the bandwidth to take three credits this semester or 10 credits this semester. Um, and so a good rule of thumb is if a class is three credits long, um, for every hour you spend or every credit, you're gonna spend three hours outside of, of class. So a three credit class would take potentially nine hours worth of work. Mm -hmm. So depending on how easy it is for you to grasp the information, what else you have going on in your life, um, it could take up to nine hours for of outside of class work for a three credit class. Um, and yes, the website is byupathway.org. Okay, so a couple more questions here. Let me read okay. this one. Um, all right, oh, a so, financial hold. Yeah. Okay. So Elizabeth, why don't you send us a direct message and we'll see what we can do to figure out why that's happening. Um, because if it's saying zero, you should be able to register. So it might be a technical glitch um, or there might be something that you can't see. So send us a direct message and we're happy to help. Awesome. Okay. I started uh, Pathway Connect in 2021 and was admitted to Enzyme College, but I didn't continue at that time. Yeah. So it sounds like they finished Pathway Connect. They got admitted, but they weren't able to do it because of some time restraints. They're yeah. ready to start now. What do they do? I love it. Come back. Okay. How do so, I <laughs> <laughs> like give them more information. So you should be able to log into your student portal. So if you go to byupathway.org and click sign in, you should be able to access your student portal and to be able to start that application to continue at Enzyme College. Um, we would love to have you back. Please come back. We are so excited for you. Um, so again, go to byupathway.org, log into your student portal, um, and you should see that ability or, um, to transition and to uh, enroll and apply for BYU, Idaho, or Enzyme College online. If you have any questions or issues doing that, send us a direct message. We'll get you connected with the right people. Yeah, and to clarify, to log in, you, you typically use your church credentials. Yes. So it should be the same. There yep. shouldn't, and if you have a problem there, you can request your password. Yep. Okay, so what's the due date to matriculate? I love it. So the due date to matriculate is in August. Um, and the exact date escaped me. So let me pull that up real fast. So, and the next, Brooke's looking, actually I'll look that up before I interrupt. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Are you able to do BYU-Idaho completely online? Yep, through BYU Pathway you can do, we have seven different degrees. Mm -hmm. um, some are Ensign College, some are BYU-Idaho. Um, it's a little bit of a split, but they are both completely online. So yes, okay, so matriculation deadline. We are looking up right now. One of these days, we will have a binder with all the answers. Um, but right now, we just rely on Brooke knowing most of the answers. And sometimes I'm pretty good at knowing them. And then sometimes we don't know all the deadlines. But sometimes. Okay, so she is looking that up. 
So uh, I'm gonna do a follow-up question real quick. It says, how do I find out if we have a live class in my area? So when you go and you apply, um, it's at the end of the application, you will choose what's available for your address that you put in. And so you'll either have only a virtual option or you might have an in-person and you would see then. I don't know if there's another way to tell before then. All right. Okay, so we're, the question was, what's the last date to matriculate or um, move on to BYU, Idaho and Ensign College to start working on your certificates and degree? Yeah, so if you're a current student, actually the best thing to do is gonna be log into the student portal to find that information. It's typically gonna be in August. Um, and I don't have the exact date, but if you send us a direct message, we will get you that final date. So I have the information for if you're a campus student or if you're a BYU pathway student, um, but not if you're going on to BYU Idaho or Ensign College Online. I'm so sorry, we will get that for you. Okay, um, Elizabeth on Facebook says, how do I get a security code number for creating a student account? I just went through this yesterday. So when you put the email, you put an email account in when you're creating your application and it will email you a code and you'll put that into your application. Um, if you're having a problem, you're not getting a code, send us a direct message and we'll um, try to connect you with the, the right information there. Mm -hmm. But I do know, and it only lasts for 10 minutes. It's super fast. <laughs> so I usually have the, when I, when I have done that, I've had the email open that I am sending that code to. So if that's the problem you're having, hopefully that helps. Um, otherwise send us direct message. We would love to answer that question. Um, okay, we have a few more that we can answer. Um, do I yeah. need to, do I need a virtual class to learn English? So let's talk about English Connect for a minute. Yeah, so English Connect is a program provided by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Um, and English Connect 3 is available online. So you are able to participate um, online to improve your English skills, improve your pronunciation, um, learn more. It's a great opportunity. So it's englishconnect.org um, and you're going to be able to learn more um, about the English language and prepare for um, educational and professional opportunities. Yep. Oh, are hey. Oh, are hey. See? See? You're getting it. Uh, congratulations. We just had somebody say they're working. They just yes! are getting their first certificates next semester. Congratulations. We love hearing that. That's awesome. Really, we do love hearing that. So that's so fun to hear. And send us a picture when you get your certificate in the mail. We love student stories. We love hearing your wins. So if BYU Pathway has helped you get a better job or the certificate or degree that you've earned has gotten you a raise or a promotion or a new opportunity, we would love to hear about it. Please send us a direct message and some pictures. Love it. Okay, just a couple more minutes. How can I change a certificate in my degree planner? Um, I would like to register for basic accounting. Um, okay. okay. So you're so, gonna wanna talk to your advisor. So you'll need And how to, do they do that? Yeah, so there's a couple different ways you can do it. Um, you can request an appointment. You can also talk with your peer mentor and your peer mentor can help facilitate um, an appointment with an advisor. Okay, so okay, last year I was looking. Um, I was looking into this. <laughs> I love it. And I asked a question. Apparently, I'd signed up for the semester, and I didn't know until my teacher asked if I was having a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Sometimes you, sometimes you forget. Yeah. But if you're ready to come back, we'd love to have you. Go to byupathway.org, click on that apply for free, and select that you're a returning student. Yeah, so. and if you accidentally signed up and you accidentally got a bad grade, we have some good news. Yeah, you can retake the class. And it doesn't like do an average, it just replaces it. Pretty great. Which is great. Um, okay, let's see if we have a couple more questions. Um, and then we're gonna be back, or they're gonna have a live tomorrow in Spanish. Mm -hmm. um, they usually do those around 2 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Yeah, I think we're on Mountain Daylight Time right now. Um, and and then we're going to be back next Wednesday yep. in the afternoon. I love it. So um, if you have questions, um, we're doing our best to answer as many questions as we can. But if you're like, I have really specific questions or I don't feel like I'm getting enough of what I need, you can go to byupathway.org slash A-P-P-T. Um, and you're going to be able to book an appointment. So again, that's byupathway.org slash APPT. Um, and you can book an appointment at a time that works well for you. Yeah. Okay. Um, this individual says, since April, I've tried to apply and I haven't been able to. Um, 
Okay, so if they have questions, yeah. what's kind of like the best route we can take? Yeah, so, so we, two mm -hmm. options. Yeah, so you go for it. you can book an appointment with an enrollment counselor. So again, you can go to byupathway.org slash APPT. You can also go on to byupathway.org and click uh, interest form, and then you can submit information and we'll have one of our enrollment counselors will be in touch. So you can sort of say, oh, I'm interested in this program. I'm interested in that. So you can go on to byupathway.org, request info, fill out that form, and one of our uh, team members will be in touch. Um, typically, they'll send a text or a WhatsApp first and invite you to book an appointment at a time that makes sense. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Last few as we wrap up here. Um, I completed BYU Pathway, uh, completed Pathway Connect, and then they did a certificate in marriage and family relations. They'd like to continue to go back to get a bachelor's degree, but want to switch to professional studies. Will I lose some credits because of this change? Love it. So, so you're not going to lose any credits, um, but you might end up having to take more than 120 credits to graduate. So you but won't. But to be fair, I took more, way more than 120 credits yeah, to graduate. Most people do. Most of us do. <laughs> um, and so you're not going to lose out on any of those credits. Um, they will still count towards your your overall degree. Um, they just might end up being elective classes, but the, those credits will still count. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, I think that we are out of time. Okay. But thank you all for joining us. We will be back next Wednesday in the afternoon. You can come back and ask us questions in English. We will have a team on tomorrow in Spanish. They'll yep. be able to answer some questions in Spanish. And you can always send us a direct yes, message. Please. That is our team. They are real people. Yep. Um, and and they, we have language speakers. So if you need do. to ask a question in Spanish or Portuguese or French even, um, we've got some language speakers that we would love to be able to help you answer questions in your native language or send a loved one to us in there and be able to, to have a, that response. Perfect. All right. So, thanks we'll for joining us. Thank you.